Here at Southern Methodist University, the Gary Weber end zone construction has taken off. Gerald J. Ford Stadium has been home to the Mustangs for over 20 years. For seasons now, SMU students have enjoyed games on the grass behind the end zone. Now, fans will watch the game from the comfort of their complex's three new seating levels. We're excited about the Gary Weber end zone project, not just because of what it will do for the football program, but what, what it will do for all of our student athletes. Uh, you really need to think about it beyond, again, just a football complex. The complex will include a dining hall for all student athletes, new locker rooms, and a full team auditorium. Construction will not interfere with the 2023 season as the Mustangs will still play on their home turf come this fall. SMU football staff have been working hard to ensure the construction doesn't diminish the spirit of fans this year. I believe that the camaraderie that, you know, being in the stands will be uh, like a traditional football game. It's going to be great for this program. And I think we're taking the next step in the right direction to, you know, get to where we were, want, once were, and where we want to be now. The department has had problems in the past with students leaving games early due to discomfort. With the construction set to finish in the winter of 2024, SMU hopes that students will stay to cheer on the Mustangs for longer. With his generosity, Gary Weber has made the largest donation in SMU athletics history. He hopes that the complex will give a better experience to the next generation of Mustangs. At SMU in Dallas, I'm Hannah O'Gara.